Oh, hey there. I didn't see you, I'm sorry. Don't mind me, I'm just hunting. But since you're here, why don't I tell you a lovely story about a young monkey who lived deep in the Sahara Desert. But sadly, due to no food and no water, the monkey was forced to leave and go to his uncle's home. After years of living there, the monkey finally decided he was to go back to his own land and work there. But out of kindness, the uncle gave the monkey a bow and a fiddle. The bow could kill anything that he desired, and the fiddle, a magical, beautiful instrument that when played could force anyone to dance. The monkey accepted gratefully and started his journey home. On, a, on his way back, he met an old, tired out wolf that explained right away how he was trying to catch an antelope but couldn't because of his tired body. The monkey, out of kindness, pulled out his bow and arrow and shot. And at that moment, they became friends, and they had a most wonderful feast. But out of jealousy, the wolf decided to take the, the bow and the fiddle for himself. The monkey rejected again and again and again. And so, the wolf got very angry and went to the jackal, a type of dog, to explain how the monkey had stolen his air bow and, and fiddle. The jackal then said that he was not fit to be the one to judge, and so he took both the wolf and the monkey to court in front of the lion, the tiger, the snake, the mouse, and other animals. The monkey tried to explain how he had not stolen and how his, mo how his uncle has, had been the one that had given him the gifts, but no one believed him, and on top of that, to make it worse, both the jackal and the wolf were against him knowing that if the jackal were, had won, he would be able to take the, both the bow and the fiddle for himself. And so, the monkey was sentenced to life in prison, and sooner, and sooner or later, he would be hanged for his dreadful crimes. But, the, but out, of, out of kindness, the court gave the monkey a fiddle in order to play a final tune before he would die. The monkey, being a master musician, knowing that it would force them to dance, played it, and as the first... As the first tone struck, so did their feet on the ground. And, the, and so they danced, and danced, and danced, and kept dancing. The, the monkey kept on playing, and playing, and playing. The animals kept crying, and crying, and crying, wishing that they had not done what they had done. They pleaded, and pleaded, and pleaded, and begged for the monkey to stop. But the monkey refused. The lion, king of the, king of the land, said that he would that the monkey would get his riches and his palace and his whole kingdom if he would stop playing. But the monkey said, I, did not, I do not want it. I want my own life back. Release the sentence and I shall leave. And so he did. But the monkey still kept playing and playing and playing. All the animals fell on the floor of how much tired, but still their feet kept running and running and dancing and dancing, not knowing how to stop. But, but from that point, the monkey ordered the wolf to explain how he had lied and that how he had not been telling the truth, how the monkey had owned, had owned the, both the fiddle and the arrow for himself. And so they continued and continued and continued until the wolf finally agreed and, and told everyone how he had lied. The monkey took his bow and took his uh, fiddle and went up into the tallest tree he could find. Out of fear, both the, both the jackal, the wolf, and all the animals left the land out of thinking he would start again. And from that point on, the monkey lived happily ever after, with both his presence alongside him. From that we can learn one thing, that lying does never go without consequence. For the consequences may be severe or not, it's still a consequence.